Celebrating Black History Month is important because <laughs> it kind of needs to continue to spread throughout life. It needs to be ingrained in our in our culture because it's, it is our culture, you know? It's, it's not just Black History Month, it is Black history in general. So it's a good time to obviously uh, go back and, and think about how Black culture has played a major part, especially in, in businesses around the world. Uh, but it's also very important that this starts a conversation that we can carry throughout the rest of the year. So when March 1st comes around, it's not like, okay, Black History Month is done, let's move on. No, this continues, this needs to continue to be conversation, you know, March, April, May, June, July, all, you know, all through the rest of the month as well. Black History Month is my time to reflect. It's my time to look back on what I didn't have and how much I have achieved and to be grateful for those things and also to set new goals for myself as a black person, but just in general. A lot of people would just say that Black History Month is just a month, you know, there's 12 months, why is it just one month? You know, maybe some people won't even agree that we need it, but to be completely fair with you, we have been evolving ever since we came here. We have been changing. Um, even in the past 20 years, we are not where we used to be. So I think it is very crucial for us to continuously celebrate you know, our heritage, our background, just so we can continue to evolve in America. I think there isn't a lot of representation in digital marketing because a lot of people don't see how they can make a career out of it. Uh, to be completely honest, no, I don't think there is a lot of uh, representation in the digital marketing world. Can I actually turn this into a career? Can I see myself doing this in the next 10, 20 years? especially when I don't see people that look like me doing it? Um, I would say with representation, um, it's still growing slowly, very, very slowly. Um, I'm usually the only black girl in my group, the black girl in my, um, my team. Um, I do see some other black um, representations throughout the organizations, but it's moving very slowly, but it's getting there, I should say. I can say One SEO has definitely evolved. I see a lot of diversity now. I mean, I see more people that look like me than the day I first started. And even the fact that I'm a director, I'm a person, I'm a black woman that's in a leadership role. I mean, that's astounding. You don't see that everywhere. Every training class that I've seen, um, it seems like a very diverse group of people. Even with my training class, it was very diverse. Um, with the search campaign, uh, with my team in particular, we do have a good diverse amount of people. So I would say, yeah, it's pretty good here. One SEO is completely different than what it was when I first started here, uh, in a good way. You know, it's uh, they, they they listen to the, to the people that work here. So you know, we say, hey, this isn't working, and they're like, okay, well, what can we do? So they give you the freedom to 100%, you know, make those changes. It's not like we're just a number here. Um, there's so many black organizations, so many black companies that are looking for marketers because they simply just don't know how to do it. Um, so just reaching out to those people saying, you know, hey, do you need someone to work with you? Um, if so, then you can already have a gateway right there. So just basically just reaching out. If we change the way that we view marketing, it will change the way that we hear people as a collective and you will see more people like me in this space or even other people of color. I think that it's really important for One SEO to really go out and search for these types of businesses that are black owned or are owned by people of color because I think we would be remiss if we just thought that people always knew who we were and what we offered. There are businesses out, businesses out there that don't know who we are, that could really benefit from our services. On top of that, they may know who we are, but may think that they can't afford us or that they're not good enough or they're not big enough, whatever it may be. But at least having this conversation to educate them and ourselves on what we can do to help each other, especially in this community.